Hi, this is John, and thanks for joining me for another video quick tip. Today, I thought I would show you how to add your photo logo watermark to images that you have in Lightroom. So let's get started. You can see I have some logos on these, and so really I want to show you how I did that. I'm simply going to click and highlight and make available that image. It's highlighted here. I will right click on that and I'll go down to export. And in the export dialog box, I have a number of choices. Um, and we're not going to cover all of that. I can send an email and I can add the logo to that. I can send it to my hard drive. I'm going to say to my hard drive at this moment, this is what I choose to do. And then I choose a specific folder from this drop down list. And then I simply say, in this case, because I'm working on images from Death Valley, I'm going to go find that folder and select it. And then you'll see here it says, you know, here's the path. It's in my JPEG files, it's my 2018 JPEG files, and it's my 2018 JPEG folder, which is what you're looking at here. This is all the images I've been working on. And so I go ahead and make that where I want to dump that image back into that folder with the logo on it so I have it with and without the logo. Oftentimes it's going to have this put in a subfolder checked and you'll wonder where they are. That's because you've left that checked. I would uncheck that. Now, these are personal choices at this point in the file settings. I'm just making JPEGs that I can post to Instagram and Facebook and so forth, and I size them personally to 2048 on the long side with 72 resolution. When I do that, that way I can use it for slideshows or what have you and resize it further if I need to some other time. But that gives me the, the maximum size that I wish. What we're really talking about here is the watermark, however. So this would be unchecked. You're simply going to check that. And in here, you can see that I've created a number of presets um, with my photo logo um, watermark. But if you don't have these yet, how do you do that? You simply choose edit watermarks. And when you hit edit watermarks, you're going to get this interface. So you're going to see the photograph and you're going to see, in this case, you're seeing the one that I've just created. But if we need to create a new one, we simply go here to the top where it says image options. In image options, we're going to hit choose. And at this point, you're going to go find your logo. And I believe I have mine under logo. And your logo comes with four. You'll see five here because I made a JPEG for another situation. But you're, you will receive from photo lo logo two blacks, a low and a high res black and a low and a high res white. Um, you will, I would encourage you to use just the high res. So let's say you wanted to add a white high res. You would just choose that and hit OK and choose. And now it's here. Oftentimes you're not going to be able to see it. It's going to be really small and you're wondering where it is. Well, you have options here to make it proportional. So you can make it as big or small as you'd like it. And then down here, you can place it where you'd like it. So you can be in the tops. And this gets you in the general location. In this case, I like the bottom left. I don't like it quite that big, so I'll make it smaller. And these insets and offsets are, are what are able to move it and fine tune it up and down or laterally side to side. Once you find the size that you want and then move it into the position you'd like, when, once you hit save from this box, and by the way, you can change the opacity too. So if you, if you don't want it to be bright white, you want it to be fainter, you can change the opacity. So you have a lot of control over your uh, logo and how you want that water, whether, whether you want it to be a faint watermark or a strong watermark. When you hit save, it's going to say, hey, what do you want to call this? And that's where I might call this white lower left in a mat, because sometimes I don't have a mat that white around the white edge around my photograph. And in that case, it's going to be positioned slightly different. Uh, and so I wouldn't call, I would just call that particular one without the mat, white lower left. And I'm not going to do it because I already have it done, but that that's how you do it. And then once you hit the go, so here we are, bottom left mat white is the one that I created. Once I hit export, 
And again, I don't need to do that. Once I hit export, it's going to show up and it's going to look just like this with the white border around it with my photo logo there. So there you go. Simple as that. And once you have those presets locked in, you don't need to worry about going and making them anymore. You'll create probably a top right, top left, bottom left, bottom right. You'll have a set of six or eight of them. And then it's as simple as just choosing that one from your drop down list and hitting export. You don't need to go through all of that work to do that again. I hope that's helpful. I love the Photo Logo product. I think you will too. Have a good day.